Hi, so this video is going to show you how to insert and modify a text box when using Microsoft Publisher. So here I have a blank publisher document and I want to insert some text boxes into this. So I can click on insert and draw text box. I can now click and drag this anywhere on the page where I want it to go. If you've set up some guidelines, you'll notice that when you're drawing the text box, it will snap to the guidelines. And so this helps you to create a layout that you may want. So if I drag that across to here, I can then position this around the area by using the guidelines. I can even use the little circles and squares to stretch and increase the size of the box just to get it exactly how I want it. You'll notice that when you draw a text box, there is a margin that's preset around this. The text will only stay though where the text box edge has been drawn. So you're drawing where the text wants to go. So perhaps I create that as a heading text box. You'll notice there's no border or lines around at the moment. I can then actually draw further text boxes on the page if I wish. I just decrease the size of the page and go draw a text box. I can then click from here and then left click and drag down to create the text box. And I can create another one here. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a line appears just to say that this is going in line. If I then want to resize the text box, you'll see that on the resizing it, this pink line appears across here and this shows that it's in line with the text box that's adjacent to it. You can then enter text into these text boxes as you wish. If you want to modify the text box, you can click into the text box and then under drawing tools format, click on that tab and it allows you to fill the text box with a color if you wish and even add an outline around that. And then you can change the outline, change the weighting of it, add dashes if you wish to make that suit your needs. If you wish you can use the shape effects to add a shadow to the text box, some reflection if you like, and even make it glow or bevel it or possibly add some 3D rotation to it. But on a typical journal article that's not recommended. You've also got the option to bring this to the front or backwards depending if you've got overlapping boxes and that those features can be useful. You can also make the size of it more exact by increasing the width and height of it using these options here. 